I think I scared your floor nurse. Visiting hours would have been over by now, but she hasn't come out to chase me out. I don't think I was really mean to her. I just told her there was no way I was leaving you. I mean, it's a simple fact, right? I don't even know if you can even hear me. Doc says you can, but I think he just wants me to think that. It makes me feel better or some nonsense like that. I don't know how you can hear me. Not with all those teal tubes and machines you've got attached to you. I rather think you're just dreaming, thinking about Disneyland or Kins or whatever stuff that makes you happy. That runs through your brain. <laughs> I miss you. Maybe that's why I keep talking to you. Because <laughs> if I stop and hear the silence, I'll go crazy. I mean, usually it's the opposite, right? You're the one taking a mile a minute and I listen. I kind of thought it was sort of annoying when we first started dating. You just would say anything and everything that came into your mind. But then I sort of did miss it. When we were away... <laughs> Silence can be deafening in its own way. You know that? Don't you? That's why you kept talking. To reach me. You know. When you wake up. We're gonna have a long talk about this. About how you shouldn't try to protect me. Because that's what's got you here. That poison. It was meant for me. And we both knew it. But you took it. You drank it. And you did while smiling at me. Why didn't you tell me? If you knew someone was targeting me, why didn't we stay home? I don't like being useless. I'm a man of fortune. I run a multi-million dollar company. I mean, this hospital room, right, that you're in here right now is like a private suite at a five-star hotel. And when I first hired you to protect me, I didn't even need to interview, interview you. You came highly recommended, impeccable qualifications. I knew I'd be safe with you. And I was. You saved me from snipers and kidnappers. You saved me from myself, really. I was just existing, not really living. And then you came in, like a burst of color. Do you remember remember the first thing you said when we met? <sighs> Do you always frown like that? God. I thought. I didn't know what I thought. You were always stepping, maybe, but you chipped away at the armor until, boom, there you were. We weren't just bodyguard and client, we were, we were everything to each other. We were each other's everything. The contract ended. You weren't my bodyguard anymore. Didn't have to be. I keep trying to figure it out. Is there something I missed? A sign or a subtle cue? If you had told me that I was being targeted, I would have never let us leave that penthouse. And you wouldn't be here. T Did you not trust me enough? Is that why? You are the... One thing I'm terrified to lose. And you have to know that. And even that. And even knowing that. You took that glass of champagne. My champagne. And you drank it. I keep replaying it over and over. That smile. That beautiful dazzling smile. It was all a lie. Because you knew what was going to happen to you. And when you coughed up blood later, and when you collapsed, I needed you to wake up. 
I needed you to beat this. When you wake up, we'll go to Disney World. I know how much you wanted to do that. We can stay at any resort you want and I'll even wake up at whatever god awful early time you want me to wake up in order to be first in line for Space Mountain. Whatever you want to do, we'll do it. You? So you didn't need to wake up. You are always one step ahead of me. You knew into going into that party what was going to happen. You knew and you still smiled. You still joked with me. Held my hand. I thought I had finally managed to find a way to protect you. That we were on equal footing. We were dating. You weren't someone I, I hired to protect me anymore. I was an idiot, wasn't I? You were still the bodyguard. Always ready to throw your life aside to protect mine. Please wake up. I need you to wake up. I need to see those eyes of yours, okay? Hear your voice. Feel your warm hand in mine. I refuse to have my last image of you being this, okay? I love you. I know I never told you. I just... I thought there would be time. But now I see. I was wrong. You always told me you didn't need the words that my actions were always good enough, but I don't think they were. I love you. I should have said it to you when you were awake, but I'm saying it now. I love you, and I need you to come back to me. You are not dying here, okay? I won't allow it. If you need me to order you, then this is me ordering you to open your eyes and come back. Please. I can't. Before you, I could do whatever I needed to do. Be heartless. Be ruthless. That's what got me so many enemies in the first place, right? But you changed me. You broke me. Made me into a person. You can't just leave me now, okay? I wish... It was me. In that bed. Suffering. If this was what was going to happen, then I wish you we had never met. You deserve so much better than that. So much better. You deserve a life where you can be safe and happy. Not me. I thought I could give you that, but... Tell me what to do. How am I supposed to keep breathing when every breath cuts like a knife? You've only been gone for a week and I'm a wreck. And if you don't wake up soon, I may just find the bastard who doesn't give them the taste of their own medicine. Slowly, painfully, make them suffer the way you and I have suffered. <laughs> you told me revenge wasn't the right choice. But if you die, it'll be my only choice. There will, there was a life before you. There won't be an after. Maybe that's selfish for me to say. I'm sure you'd be upset if, I, if you could hear me. But it's the truth. Plain and simple. <laughs> I need you back. I must sound like some sap. <laughs> I'm 
See what you've done to me? You've broken me. So you have to take the responsibility. You need to help put my pieces back together. Please. What? What's going on? Are you? Hey. Hey. Welcome back, love. No, no, no. Don't move. Okay? We need to let the doctors look at you. Okay? Make sure you're okay. I'm fine. Look at me. I'm fine. You saved me. You saved me again. You scared me. I thought... I love you, you know? <laughs> of course you already know. It's okay. It's just a doctor. I'm not going anywhere. I'll be right here. Let him look at you. I'm not going anywhere. I promise. I thought the doctor told you not to get up. I know you're going stir crazy, but you were nearly dead a week ago. You need to follow the doc's orders. Well, if I'm worried, then whose fault is that, huh? I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean... No, I, I, I don't want to talk about it. Because if I do, I'll break. I'm barely back together as it is. If you hadn't opened your eyes... Point is, I don't want to waste time and energy arguing, arguing with you about the past. It won't do any good. Yes, I'm mad. I'm furious. God. Do you know how useless I felt when I found out what you did? Can you even picture for a moment what went through my mind when they told me that you had taken the poison meant for me? I don't care why you did it. I'm yelling because, damn it, why does it always have to be you? You take the hits. My hits. And you act like it's no big deal. You almost died. You flatlined twice. Twice! Lou was internal bleeding and meta in emergency m surgery. And their eyes. The doctor's... And the nurses kept telling me and looking at me like I was a kicked puppy. Because he thought it was pointless. That I was just a guy with too much money on his hands, wasting it, trying to keep his almost dead girlfriend alive. I don't care about your reasons. The logistics of it. Why you couldn't tell me? None of that matters. But if we're going to continue down this path together, I need to make something clear. We're equals. Partners. You're not my bodyguard anymore. I don't want you to protect me. I don't want you to die for me. You make it sound so noble, but it's bullshit. Death is permanent. It will mean never ever seeing you smile again or teasing you about how you watched too many episodes of 90 Day Fiance. No more hugs. No more late night McDonald's runs. You'd be gone and I'd still be here. It's not living. It's just existing. I'd just be here. Taking up space. Moving like some damn robot going through the emotions. I'm not being dramatic. You broke me. And I mean that in a good way. 
You took this hardened exterior and you shattered it and made something new. Someone new. Someone who cares. You have to take responsibility for that. You can't just change my whole life and then leave me. It's not fair. Well, life may be not. But I didn't get to where I am today by just accepting that. Never again. I'm serious. Promise me that you will never pull a stunt like that again. Yes! It was meant for me, and not you! I wish you would. Because seeing you go down like that, seeing the blood on your lips, I can't ever see that again. Do you hear me? Once was more than enough. I'm hiring more security. They won't be good as you, but if you throw enough money at something, the problem eventually works itself out. All I want for you is to focus from now on is yourself. Because you keep putting me first. Put yourself first. You taught me. You really don't know. You're my heart. It's cheesy, but hear me out. Because you, life was just existing. Dark and dreary. I did things I needed to do. Did things others expected of me. Did a lot of bad things too. But when I hired you, and you stepped into my office that first day, it was like color came back. You were there standing in dazzling light. At first I was blinded. I looked away, but you kept pulling me back towards the light. Your light. You saved me that day. In the way that really mattered to me the most. So, you can imagine my distress when I saw you. The love of my life collapsed on what was supposed to be one of the happiest nights of our lives. It would have been if things had worked out. No, this is the time or the place for it. I want to do this right, okay? There's supposed to be flowers, candlelight, an orchestra playing a favorite song. It was all there that night, just waiting for you. But now, I see how stupid I was. I wasn't protecting you like I should have. I was going to ask you a question that night. That's all. No. I can't ask it now. Not, not until I know you hear me. Do you mean it though? Or are you just saying what I want to hear? Then why didn't you tell me? Huh? I changed my mind. Tell me. Did you not trust me? What was it? <laughs> Worry me. You didn't want to worry me. If you thought there was a chance, no matter how slim, you should have told me. We could have... I wasn't going to say that. We would have figured something out. I... I love you. And, and after all of this, I've realized just how important you are to me. How I cannot lose you. But it 
you will keep making these choices, these decisions that put you in the line of fire. Then we're not partners. We're not lovers. We're just... What we are. I don't want a bodyguard. I can hire a new one. We can interview them if you like. Whatever makes you satisfied that I'm safe. I just... I need you to be my lover. That's it. My partner. Someone I can rant to about failed business deals or scummy board members. Someone to show me all of the best food at Disneyland. Who even knows? Maybe even to help me get over my fear of cats. <laughs> no, they are evil, love. The purring is just a facade. <laughs> the point is, I'm yours. You have me. You'll always have me. But this is only going to work if we're on equal footing. So, are you my partner or my bodyguard? Good. Ah, sweetheart, don't cry. I, I'm sorry. Jeez, I did this all wrong. I didn't mean to get this so worked up. Can I hold you? Is that okay? Things are going to be better. I know it. Maybe your boundless optimism has been rubbing off on me. I love you too. Come on. You should be back in bed. I know, I know. When you're all healed up, we can run around then. Besides, you've got a Disney trip coming. You'll get your step-ins then. In bed. Now. Good. Now. You get some rest. I'm gonna go get some work done. <laughs> no. Afraid the world of business never stops for anyone. But don't worry. It's nothing too big. Oh. Is it too loud? I can go into the other room, but... Okay. Good. Then sleep. I'll be here when you wake up. All right, I'll admit it. The weather in Florida sucks. The, the smugginess. I feel like I'm walking through a swamp. I don't understand how you're handling it so well. Well, I suppose having ice cream does help. Plus all the water. Even so, no, I'm fine. I mean, it's not even noon yet. We have a fast pass for Splash Mountain, right? That should cool me down. I appreciate the concern, but I'll be okay. I can handle a little sun. Right. So what's next? Got it. So we're off to Fantasyland, right? <laughs> I actually think I'm doing pretty well, considering this whole theme park is completely new territory for me. I mean, I even managed to navigate back to the Starbucks earlier. <laughs> We don't need to talk about how I was lost in Tomorrowland, though. Shh. Hmm? No. I'm okay. Just the, the damn mugginess. Crap. I, I shouldn't swear, right? Oh, God. I think that woman over there just sent me a death glare. <laughs> I'm glad. Mock my pain. 
You think you can make things better with a mere kiss? How weak do you think I am? <laughs> uh, you're so easy to tease. No, love. I'm, I'm glad for the kiss. For the teasing. For you. Really. I mean, last month I thought I lost you. But here you are. Here we are. And I'm never letting you go. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, I guess I better hope Prince Charming doesn't steal you away from me. Oh, this heat. Hmm? Sorry. I didn't hear you. Just so damn hot. What is going on? Sweetheart? What are we doing? Heat exhaustion. For fuck's sakes. I can't even manage to do this right. No. It's not. You've been looking forward to this trip for a whole month. I had everything planned. And what happens? I screw everything up on day one. How long have we been in here? A few hours? I'm gonna get discharged. We can be back in the park in time for the fireworks. I promise. What? Rest? Why on earth would I do that? We're at Disney World. You love Disney World. We had a schedule. You don't mean that. Because sitting here by my side in the hospital is not where you want to be. You want to be with... Me. <laughs> no... I knew you were cheesy. I just forgot how much. We can really go. Just let me flag down a nurse. Okay. And how long will that be? You're really okay with this. Just sitting here, staring at me. Yeah, well, I didn't expect our position to be reversed so soon. And definitely not because of a stupid son. Yeah, well, the Magnus does it, to be honest. It makes it worse. I'll make this up to you. You can't honestly tell me that you're enjoying sitting there. <sighs> Alright. So, we stay here overnight, get discharged in the morning, be back in the park by the afternoon, catch up on our schedule. <sighs> you're not serious. Sweetheart, this it's your trip. It's all you've been talking about non-stop. And, and you're telling me you're just fine sitting here as long as it takes. I see. No, I, I'm okay. Just need to sit up. Come here. I'm fine. Come here. 
I'm gonna hold you. I had plans, you know. A really great plan. An elaborate one. We were supposed to to go to dinner at the castle at that restaurant you wanted to go to and you wanted to try. And the fireworks and as the fireworks went off. I was gonna ask you a question. But I think no matter how much I keep planning, fate will all screw it up. I love you. Uh, you know that? And if my head weren't still fuzzy from the medicine, I'd be able to explain just how much. But I can't wait anymore. I love you. I choose you. I'll always choose you. Marry me. I'm serious. I'll do it again, of course. You deserve the big proposal, proposal with the fireworks and the magic and everything. But since fate keeps messing with me, I'm asking you now. Marry me? Please? Yeah? Good. <laughs> no. I don't think I saved the ring for later. Gotta have something to surprise you with later, right? Hey, you're sure? Good. Cause you're mine now. You can't change your mind. <laughs> Good to know. No, I can't believe this. No, definitely not. But as long as you said yes, I guess it doesn't matter. Hmm? I'm good. Oh, I don't want to rest. I want to stay right here with you. Okay. Just a little nap. Will you stay? Thank you. I love you too. More than anything. Really? You can hear the fireworks all the way from here. <laughs> Romantic, isn't it? Glad to hear it. I promise. I'll rest. Just don't go anywhere, okay? Good. Love you.